I want you all to shut up, sit down and watch. Program, we have an in depth report about a top industry cover up which some viewers may find disturbing. This is Cowley, home of the British motor industry, but all is not well at this one of the world's most modern design and manufacturing facilities. Recently, a health scare of enormous proportions emanated from the body engineering office here behind me. Today we're going to take our cameras inside the gates and try and get to the bottom of this devastating tragedy and talk to some of those people involved. Many people have their own tale to tell. This particular employee would rather remain anonymous. Yeah, it's, um, it's happened to me since uh, I've been working at Austin Rover. And, um, well, it's been terrible. Uh, I'm sorry. I that. Brings tears to me eyes when I think about it. Yeah, blame it on the company myself, you know. Yeah. Boy then. Yeah, you see, they blamed me, they did. They thought it was all down to me. But it wasn't. In fact, I reckon it was my job that saved me. You might think I'm working here and there's nothing to film from that, but it's all them what happens there in the train stuff. Them what got it here was. Not me. See? Yeah, I remember it well. We were stopping them at the gate. Stopping them if we suspected them of uh, being carriers, yeah. Before the outbreak, you would see it everywhere. Then it happened. The terrifying thing is that nobody knew that sharing would have such devastating effects. From this very office alone, there are now six people dead, 17 in hospital. Yes, the disease spread as soon as communal masking tape was actually introduced. The worm, the masking tape worm, is not visible to the naked eye. An Austin Rover Hospital spokesman told us Yes, that's right. The masking tape worm is invisible to the human eye. It now appears that but for one man this terrible tragedy could have been avoided. Well, we've just seen Mr. Austin actually entering the building. Here he is. See if we can just grab a few words with him quickly. Mr. Austin! Excuse me, Mr. Austin! Mr. Cliff Austin, it's Rupert Err, investigative reporter. Uh, can you hold on a second? We'd just like to ask a few questions of you, please. Mr. Austin, we'd just like to ask you a few questions. Please, please, Mr. Austin. Mr. Austin. Mr. Austin, please. Excuse me, Mr. Austin, we'd just like to ask you a couple of questions. Now, please, please, will you just answer us one thing? Can you deny that you're responsible for this outbreak? Please, just... Have you nothing to say, Mr. Austin? So who is to blame for the spread of the masking tape worm? Why wouldn't Mr. Austin even give us an interview? What has he to hide? How many more people's lives will have been put in jeopardy before the tightness with other resources has changed? Is Mr. Austin simply acting on instructions from his superiors? And are rumours that personalised masking tape will shortly be reintroduced true? These questions may have to remain unanswered for the moment. But for now, this is Rupert Earl at Cowley.
Hello, graduates. By now you've probably been sharpening your pencils and learning a little bit about the hardness of the leads. But today, I'd like to show you about some of the instruments we're going to be using. Let's have a look at some of them, shall we? A pair of compasses. A couple of set squares. And a raisin shield. And our old friend, the scale. Confusing, isn't it? So many things. How do they all go together? How do they work? Let's go and see how one of our graduates is getting on over here. This is our graduate, the one I was telling you about. Oh, hello. See, he's lost already. When I said layout training, he thought I meant layout. Oh, sorry. So, that's your scale there for measuring along a straight line. And your set square for drawing a straight line. Compasses. Drawing your circles. Mm -hmm. Not forgetting, trust the old pencil. Oh, that's right, for actually drawing the line. No, not this time. We're going to be doing that in lesson six. In lesson six, you're going to be producing a straight line without actually doing it. Simply by using your managerial skills to get a more experienced draftsman to do it for you. See you next time. Bye. Bye. This was a Rover Group open learning video. A third of all crimes in Britain involve cars. That's a million offences every year. The motor industry has often been criticised for building cars that are far too easy to break into. But soon, criminals could find some cars for the worst. Using windows. Austin Rover's prototype, unveiled today, shows how the industry can help beat the thieves. The doors are operated by infrared remote control. There are no mechanical parts to be tampered with. This car is Rover's idea of deterrence to thieves. Once the car people purchases, a holographic image of the dock appears and starts barking. <laughs> you'll have bees in your boot. Surprisingly, the car fitted with these features will actually sell at a discounted price. However, we do suspect this may be an offset for the great inconvenience caused to the customer by these inherently unreliable features.
Hello, graduate. And the pencil. Hello, graduate. Hello, graduate. <laughs> Surprisingly, such a car physically would be a good speed to actually sell for this outfit price. However, we suspect this may be an offset to the customer who will find the un inherently unreliable features. And also this spot, blah, 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 blah. many people have their own tale to tell. This particular employee would like to remain on the back of the wall. Prince Peter and I are just thinking about it. I blame on the company. Prince Peter to me, all you can think about it. I blame it on the company myself. Uh, I blame it on the company myself. Yeah. Bye then. Sorry, I said the wrong bit first. So, who is the main Why would we drop this? I want you all to shut up, sit down, and watch. Thank you.